this crisis that we're in here. Thank you for coming, by the way. No problem. Thank you, I'm Doug Erickson. I'm the State Senator here in Washington County, the 42nd Legislative District. I wish I was uh, seeing you all under better circumstances than we're currently living in Washington State. Uh, first off, um, COVID-19 is real, and it is a virus. And if you are a person who is at risk, I urge you to take proper precautions in Washington State uh, to make good decisions for you and for your family about how you should handle that and the decisions you make should be up to you. Um, the COVID-19 response in Washington State has been overblown, partisan, uh, not evenly put into place, and we need to fix that as quickly as possible to save the lives of people in Washington State. I literally mean uh, to save the lives of the people in Washington State by fixing the response that we currently have in place. Uh, second thing I want to say is that the violence and rioting uh, in the pursuit of political justice is not right and should not be undertaken by anyone to take violence up against any other person uh, to accomplish your goals. Uh, what you do need uh, is leadership in Olympia to get these things accomplished for you. Um, normally, the way it works is that you expect your elected officials to spread that umbrella of ability for you to go out and do what you need to do. Unfortunately, uh, umbrella of cover, so you have the protection. You have the ability to know that when you go and open your restaurant to know you're not going to see fines that are going to be on your record for the next hundred years as you try to pay them off. That you're not going to get hit by the Department of Labor and Industries. You're not going to get hit with all these things. The legislature should be providing that umbrella to you. Unfortunately, here tonight, I'm in the minority in Olympia. I cannot wave a magic wand and say, I will forgive those fines if you should incur them. The governor could do that tomorrow. The governor could, through emergency power, say all of your fines are forgiven if you violated the COVID um, policies and, and, our, and my liquor control order goes your fine. That's the power he currently has. He has the power to shut down Washington State. He has the power to put through all these proclamations. He also has the power to do that under our current laws in Washington. Um, unfortunately, what we now need from you, the people, is for you to provide the umbrella of courage to your elected officials. And that is what needs to happen. We need you to rise up, contact them, forcefully, politely, and not violently, but to give them understanding of the extreme dire straits that people are in in Washington State. When I go down to Olympia on Monday, uh, one of the things I'm going to be doing, we go to a 105-day session starts in Olympia on Monday. Um, they're locking the legislature out of the process. Um, I'm not allowed to be on the Senate floor to make motions, to give speeches, to talk about legislation I would like to see addressed. The public is not being allowed into the legislative chambers or into committee hearings to participate in the process to make their voices heard, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. You could say we're going to shut down the legislature and not let people in if we were going to Olympia just to address COVID-19, just to say we're going to provide complete and blanket tax relief to everybody who has suffered because of the, of the, of the actions of the government. If we were in there to say that we're going to forgive all fines that have been imposed, if we were going to go to do those things in Olympia, I would be fine with limited access. But that's not what they're planning. You've already heard about the, uh, the, the um, uh, capital gains income tax. You've heard about other legislation. Um, they want to run a full meal deal of legislation that will have massive impacts on the people for everything from defunding police to tax increases, to gas tax increases, to limiting your ability to do many different things. That can't happen under the cloak of COVID darkness. So on Monday, I'll be introducing a bill that's called Senate Con it's a Senate Joint Resolution of Senate uh, SCR 8400. And this basically says that the legislature will adjourn immediately and then immediately reconvene with a 30-day emergency session just to deal with COVID relief. And that is what your legislators should be doing. So I encourage all of you to contact your legislators, encourage them to support that, and provide them with the umbrella of courage and cover for them to actually stand up and do what's right in Washington State. That is what is severely lacking right now in Olympia. Um, what's amazing also is when they lock the people out, um, of Olympia they're doing it for COVID. Yet these same legislators and staff people will go to the Fred Meyer and shop. They'll let a clerk sit there and have thousands of people pass by them every single day, you know, in that position. But they refuse to let the people come to Olympia and participate in the process. So we are in a difficult position right now. Um, I'm working as hard as I can to get the restrictions lifted, to get people back to work, to get Washington State open. But I don't have the votes in Olympia right now, and that's the sad truth. Um, I do think that uh, this is not a Republican or Democrat situation. I think that I'm a Republican. The Republican leadership in the Senate failed you uh, last summer because we could have brought this thing to a head by refusing to extend Governor Inslee's proclamations. And as Mark pointed out, some of those things are very good to make his emergency order operate, how we deal with unemployment insurance, how we do certain things. 
But what happened was many of the big corporations, many of the people who had well-funded lobbyists got their proclamations put into place to protect them, but the small business people in Washington State uh, were left to struggle and to shut down. And that's wrong again. And we miss an opportunity, and we need better leadership out of Olympia, we need stronger leadership, and we have to get this open. One last thing I'll close with this is that we're, Washington State is an outlier. We're the only state in the country who is shutting down their legislative process for the public. The only one. Oregon's not doing it. California's not doing it. We have the most extreme measures. And we're being very poorly run. If you saw the last study, in terms of COVID vaccines going to the public, we rank 44th, bottom of the list, in terms of efficiency of getting those vaccines out to the people who even want them. So we have to do better in Washington State. We have to open it up. We need, I need each one of you to pick out legislators and give them the courage to do the right thing to stand up for you uh, when we go down to Olympia on Monday and say, no, we're not going to do all that other stuff. We are going to focus solely on fixing the anguish, the problems, the grief, the financial ruin that has been caused by the actions of this government over the past 10 months. That's what we need to do. Thank you so much. Look how quick I am. That's not even five minutes. I, 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 I have a question for you. So oh, I thought there was a book coming in there already. Yeah, going in. Not the book yet. Uh, quick question for you, sir. Yeah. In as succinctly as possible, give, give the folks here and listening online the specific action steps that they can take. And I know some of these might seem futile. Sending an email to Jay Inslee to let me open up might seem like a futile endeavor. But nonetheless, list them out for us so that we have it on record. These are the ways you should be communicating to your elected officials in Olympia. And if they don't listen to you the first time, then keep hammering them. Tell us what those action steps should be. It's a difficult one. How do you participate in the democratic process and they're trying to block you out from being able to participate in the democratic process? And that's tough one. Call. Call offices. If you know legislators personally and individually, call them. I don't think this room is full of just, you know, Republicans, not just Democrats, not just Green Party members. Find those people that you know and walk in and sketch in island counties and call them directly and say, we need to get relief on this. Do that. Go to your county council members. I know we have Ben here. Talk to him. Go to your city council members. Tell the city council the city that you live in, to write a letter, to call immediately, have those elected officials at your local level contact the state legislators and say, we need this to happen. So don't just call me. Put together the coalition to build that umbrella that gives the protection to these legislators for who for some reason are so afraid to stand up and do what's right. So call your legislators, but also work to put together coalitions, work if you belong to an organization, work through that organization to motivate them and push them to work harder to get that done in Olympia. So call legislators, call your local elected officials, work through your organizations, and try to have face-to-face, -face, well, tough stuff, people won't talk to you face-to-face, -face, a lot of them, um, conversations with them, but at least call them personally and let them know how you feel and what's going on.